Are you struggling with massive video files that take you hours to upload to YouTube? Or grainy footage ruining your professional vibe? Struggling with camera files YouTube won't accept? In this video, I will show you a powerful AI tool that makes batch video compression, conversion, and enhancement super easy. This is really gonna save you time. So the AI tool we're gonna talk about is Wondershare Unit Converter. You can get your hands on the free trial version in the description below to follow along. This will give you a better idea on how Wondershare Unit Converter works. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, so when you open the software, it has this clean and user-friendly interface. So we have the hot, that's the trending, video, audio, and also image. We're gonna start with compressor. We can find it on the hot page, then click on compressor. I recently finished building a course and I ended up with huge file sizes. That's when Wondershare Unit Converter comes in handy. So on this side, you can either bring your folders in this side or you can click on this. It's going to take you where you can find the folders. So we're going to start with this folder. Instead of bringing them individually, I can just click on load to bring all the videos at once into the software. On the left, that's the original file sizes. And on the right, that's the compressed size it's going to create for you. On this side, instead of doing it individually using this side, let me close this. We can do all at once by just going to this side and clicking on that. It's going to set on basic. With the basic compression, you can see exactly the file size it's going to convert for you. Let me choose that and show you guys. Just click on OK. You can see exactly the file size it's going to compress into. Now let's go back and let me show you the magic. When you click on the AI compression, this is going to compress your videos into smaller file sizes with lossless quality. So with this, you can easily go somewhere 70 to 80 and it's still going to generate very small file sizes with lossless quality. So let me just set it to somewhere 80%. Then format, I'm going to leave it at MP4 and click on OK. Then next to it, you can select exactly where you want to save it to. You can click on this and it's going to take you right there and you select the folder you want to save to. Then make sure you have high speed conversion turned on on this side. This is going to batch process it with faster speed. Then when you're done, just click on compress all and it's going to batch process all the files at once, saving you time. When you're done, you're going to find all the files on the finished side. Also, we can click on this. It's going to take you to the folder where you can find all your videos. Now, when you compare the original and the compressed file side by side with the file sizes, you can see there's lossless in quality. Next is the video enhancement. When it comes to being a video editor, you have no control over the videos you are going to receive. Having Wondershare Unit Converter helps you prepare for any old grainy videos from a client. So when you click on the home page, then you can click on video enhancer. On this side, once again, you can drag the videos in here or you can click on this side to take you to where you can have the videos. So I can click on the folder and select one of the videos I want to work on, then click on load. So we have four options when it comes to video enhancer. That's video enhancement, which we're going to talk about later. Then we have the denoiser that is going to remove the noise from your videos. And we have video upscaler. You can upscale all the way to 8K. Then we have frame interpolation. This is going to add some frames to your videos. So this very video is 24 frames. If I want to add some frames, I can select that. And right there, I can have 48 frames from that. Or I can have 96 frames from that. This is going to slow the footage more. So let's go back to video enhancement. That's what we're going to use today. Just click on that. Then on this side, you can select the file location just like we did previously. Then when you're done, you can click on export to export your video. Now look at the difference on the screen. Next is the video converter. This supports up to thousand formats, including video and audio files, such as MP3, MP4, MOV, and more. It also supports one-click import of multiple video files and batch processing to improve efficiency. So on this side, you can click on converter. It's gonna take you here where you can bring in the folder or you can just click on add folder. It's going to take you where you can select the folder. So with this, I'm going to go with this and just like that, I can click on load and it's going to bring 
all the files at once in the software. And now I can easily convert all the videos into a new format. You can do it individually if you want to convert them into individual formats just on this side. With this video, I want to convert all of them into the same format. So I can come down here, click on this, then go to video. You have a lot of options you can convert into. So with this, all the videos were shot in MOV file and I want to convert into MP4. You know, MOV files are mostly not compatible in some softwares. So just select MP4. Then I'm going to leave it same as source and click on create. Then on this very side, I can change the name and save it as a preset. Let's just go for this name, MP4 today. Then make sure you select save as new preset. Leave everything as it is and click on save so next time anytime i want to use the same preset i can easily go to custom and i'm going to have it right on that side then i can click on that and it's going to affect all the videos then next to it i can select exactly the folder i want to save it to when i'm done on this side i can merge all the videos into one file if you want to do that but i don't want that i want it to be individual video file then next to it you can just click on convert all to convert all your videos and guess what it doesn't end there wonder share unit converter comes with a lot of other features like background remover which you can use to remove the background of your images watermark remover on videos and also images instagram downloader which i use a lot to get instagram videos that i like screen recorder test to speech and many more to try your hands on wonder share unit converter you can click on the link in the description. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.